we get five Play-Doh cans to work with. Here's a white can, a brown can, yellow, green, and red. This is our pan crust, and on the bottom, we can make some toppings. Here's a play knife, a spatula, a roller, a fork, a pizza cutter, and this awesome plate! We can use this pizza peel to put the pizza in the oven. And if you look at the bottom, we can make some more toppings. Here's an extruder. Now I'm sure everyone's gonna eat all the pizza, but if we do have leftovers, we can put it in this pizza box. Let's start with some pizza toppings. Here's a mushroom. In my opinion, mushrooms add a nice flavor to the pizza. With the green Play-Doh, I'll make some broccoli. This will add a nice crunch. And we'll also throw in some olives. Yummy! Can't forget the onions! Ah! My eyes are starting to tear up! I'll use the brown play-doh to make the pizza crust. And the red Play-Doh will be the pizza sauce. Do you guys like light pizza sauce or a lot of pizza sauce? And of course, what's pizza without some cheese? Extra cheese for me, please!
I think the pizza will taste good just like this. But we'll make it better by adding our toppings. Here's our delicious veggie pizza. I'll cut it into six slices. I don't know why I just thought of this, but do you guys remember in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Whenever the pizza came, Michelangelo would go, Cowabunga, dude! Look at this yummy mushroom slice! I'll keep it in the pizza box for now, so that it stays warm. Woo! This pizza box is getting hot! Let's make more toppings, so that we can make another pizza. Here's a piece of bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. I made a bunch of olives at once this time. We'll add a kick to the pizza by topping it with some pepper. That looks spicy! This final topping should pack a punch! Here's a pepperoncini! For this pizza, I'll make my special yellow crust! Sorry guys, it's a secret recipe, so I can't tell you what the ingredients are! Nice! We'll add some sauce. A lot of cheese. and our toppings. Mmm, that smells good! Some people might get tired of pizza, so I'll make another dish. Can you guys guess what I'm making? If you said spaghetti and meatballs, high five! We're all ready for the pizza party! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter! The links are in the description box below! Some Disney toys here, and today I'm bringing you Play-Doh Playful Pies. Mm -mm, look at how tasty those pies look! Let me know in the comments what your favorite pie is. Alright, let's start by opening the box.
here we have a pie server, an extruder, a plate, a fork, a roller, and there's a bunch of molds on the bottom of this basket. Looks like we have some cherries, some strawberries, and if you flip it around, it's a basket. Let's see what we have in this bag. This is gonna be our pie mold. And this set comes with four cans of Play-Doh. We have blue, brown, white, and red. Let's start by making a pie. We're gonna use our brown Play-Doh and squish it down here. This is gonna be the crust of our pie. And now to fill it up with some yummy fruit, I'll start by making a bunch of cherries. And I think blueberries would go well too. After we've made a bunch of those, we can start putting it on our pie. Let's load it up with fruit. Now that our pie is full, we can start weaving the crust on top. All we do is roll out some brown Play-Doh and cut it into strips. And then we lay it on top of the pie, weaving it over and under each other. Yum, that's one good looking pie. But it would be even better if it had some whipped cream on top. We'll do this by using our extruder and some white Play-Doh. Now the next thing I'm going to make is a slice of pie. Again, we'll use brown for the crust. And I'm going to use this to cut out a triangle. This part's going to be the bottom of our pie. And now I'll roll out another piece of brown Play-Doh for the top part. And I'm going to fold up the end to make a top crust. Now for the fruit. I'm thinking this should be a raspberry pie. We'll continue making a bunch of raspberries till they fill our pie. And now we're going to start stacking our raspberries. Once that's done, we add our top crust. And for the final touch, we'll add some whipped cream. Anyone care for a slice of pie? Now the last thing I'm gonna make is a fruit basket. We'll start with some strawberries, and since this set only came with four colors of Play-Doh, I'm going to use some of my own colors. Feel free to do the same.
This bundle of fruit is going to be a little bit hard. We're going to have to put multiple colors in one mold. Hopefully it turns out good. Yum, this strawberry looks perfect. Mmm, here's cantaloupe. A blueberry. A juicy cherry. A blackberry. Ooh, and a bundle of fruit. It turned out pretty good. We'll keep making more fruit till we can fill up our basket. Here's everything we made today. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Dizzy Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Poppin' Movie Snacks. Let's make some snacks that we all enjoy eating at the movie theaters. The back of the box shows everything that we could do with this playset. What's your guys' favorite movie snack? Mine are Junior Mints. Let's see what's inside. Here's our snack station. We get a white Play-Doh. Red and yellow Play-Doh. Here are some snack molds and a tool for the extruder. We also get this cool popcorn bucket. And here's a knife. We also get some brown and green Play-Doh. And here's this really cool play mat that we can use. Let's start by making our first movie snack. This snack is for those who are hungry. Can you guess what I'm making? Here's the first part. Now let's make the second part of the snack. Do you guys have an idea of what it is? If you guessed hot dog, you were correct! I like to put mustard on my hot dog. What about you guys? Now let's create a lighter snack. This one's one of my favorites too. Gummy bears! Yum! With this set, we can also make some frozen treats. Here's a delicious green apple ice cream. Let's make the other frozen treat now.
Here's a yummy lemon popsicle. Now it's time to make the most popular movie snack, popcorn. We'll need a lot of white Play-Doh. And we'll place our popcorn bucket right here. I could make endless popcorn. Here it is, close up. I really enjoy popcorn, but I can't eat a lot of it. Can you guys eat a bunch of popcorn? And our bucket full of popcorn is complete! Now let's use this extruder tool to make some more snacks! I actually never ate these at a movie theater before, but now I really want to try! French fries! French fries would actually be really great snacks! Now I'll make one more snack for the movies. Can you guess what this one is? This is a classic too. Licorice. That sounds really good right now. Making all of these movie snacks just got me really hungry. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you some Play-Doh art. We'll be making a Play-Doh rainbow cake. Let's start by rolling out the red Play-Doh. We'll be using one of these Play-Doh mold cutters for our cake today. Now let's use the orange Play-Doh. Stack each layer on top of each other, like this. Now it's time for the yellow Play-Doh. Let's use some green Play-Doh.
Now it's time for some blue Play-Doh. Our cake's starting to look really good. Let's use some purple Play-Doh. We'll top our cake off with some white Play-Doh. Now it's time to decorate our cake. We'll use the yellow Play-Doh Plus for our frosting. Yum, that looks delicious! Let's decorate our rainbow cake with some more rainbow colors. That looks good! Let's add some more frosting. We'll use the pink Play-Doh Plus. Our cake looks really delicious. Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here. And do you guys see something really yummy? Well, that's because we're bringing you some Play-Doh Rainbow Dippin' Dots. Let's start by checking out the red Dippin' Dots. These sure look yummy, but I'm gonna start scooping it out because there's something better inside. Oh, I think I found something. This toy blends really well with the red Dippin' Dots. It's Spider-Man! I think he added a few pounds. Don't make me shoot you with my web. Whoops, sorry. Let's check out the orange Dippin' Dots. Let's scoop it out. Hey look, we got a My Little Pony character! It's Pepper Dance! Her hair matches the orange Dippin' Dots! Time to check out the yellow Dippin' Dots!
I found something! Everyone, I'd like you to meet Lemmy! She's from Doc McStuffins. She said thank you for saving her. No worries. Let's see who we find in the green dipping dots. This character's head looks like a green dipping dot. Don't you guys think? Oh, it's Squidward. He looks happier than usual. I guess he likes hanging out in the dipping dots. Move on to the blue dots. Ooh, we found something already. Oh, it's a keychain Olaf. This version of Olaf is pretty cute. And now for our last Dippin' Dots Cup. It's the purple one. Ooh, saw some eyes. I think I know who it is. It's Hello Kitty. Let's get you out of there. She's got on a ballerina outfit and a beanie. Finding surprise toys in Play-Doh Dippin' Dots was really fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here. And today, I'm bringing you another rainbow treat. If you haven't seen the rainbow ice cream sandwich video, you should definitely check it out. But today, we're going to be making a delicious rainbow donut. To make the rainbow donut, all we need is brown Play-Doh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All the colors of the rainbow. A rolling pin is also helpful if you have one. And something with an edge to cut, like this Play-Doh knife. You'll also need a pen to poke the hole through the donut. Because what's a donut without a hole? Let's get started! We start by rolling out our brown Play-Doh. You just keep rolling till it gets to the size that you want. It doesn't have to be perfect though, because we're going to be covering it with rainbow colors anyway. Then we use our pen to poke the hole through. Just poke it around in circles. That's looking good to me. What do you guys think? Now for the colors. Let's roll the red one into an oval. And then the orange. And we just lay it right on top, followed by the yellow. And then the green. This green one reminds me of a jelly bean. Ooh, so does the blue one. And last but not least, let's roll out the purple. Look at all those pretty colors. Now that they're stacked on top of each other, we just place it down and give it a little push. Then we begin to roll them out. 
Let's get it nice and flat. How cool is that looking? Write in the comments, what's your favorite color? This is looking really good. Let's flip it around and use the smaller stripes. We just place our rainbow on top and start pressing around the donut. Let's get it nice and snug around there. And now let's use our little knife to cut around it. Let's press all the edges to the bottom. This donut's looking delicious already. Time to poke the hole through. You can just feel around and then use your pen to poke through. Now it's starting to look like a donut. Hmm, I think it needs something. What do you guys think of sprinkles? Let's add some chocolate ones. We just roll out a little bit of brown Play-Doh and cut it into stripes. I like my donut with lots of sprinkles. Give this video a thumbs up if you do too. This looks so good. Mmm, this looks good enough to eat. Well, now I'm craving a donut. I think I'm going to go get one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here. And today we'll be making some more Play-Doh art. Today we'll be making a Play-Doh Rainbow Donut. This should be really fun. Let's start by rolling out the brown Play-Doh to make our donut. This donut looks really good. Now it's time to make our rainbow donut. Let's start by grabbing some red Play-Doh. We'll also need the orange Play-Doh. Here's the yellow Play-Doh. We'll be using the green Play-Doh too. Here's some blue Play-Doh. And here's the purple Play-Doh.
Now it's time to create our rainbow. Once you've rolled it out like this, place your rainbow on top of the donut. Like this. This rainbow donut looks really cool. It looks yummy too. Thanks for watching Austin Disney Toys. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you rainbow Play-Doh art. Let's start by making a rainbow ice cream cone. We have all the colors of the rainbow rolled up into little balls. Throw them into the extruder like this. Once you have all the colors inside, squeeze them together so that we can get the rainbow color. Now we can squeeze it onto the ice cream cone. That looks cool. Nice! We made a delicious looking rainbow ice cream cone. Now let's make a rainbow ice cream scoop. Here are all the colors of the rainbow again. This time, we'll use a roller to roll the Play-Doh out. Be sure to stack each Play-Doh on top of each other.
Once you have all the Play-Dohs stacked on top of each other, use the knife to clean it up. Now we'll use this scooper to shape it like an ice cream scoop. And here's our rainbow scoop. Doesn't that look good? Now it's time to make the rainbow popsicle. Squeeze each color like this. Then stack them on top of each other. Once you have them stacked, place your popsicle stick inside of it. Now we'll use the popsicle mold to shape our popsicle. That's one perfect rainbow popsicle. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here, and today you're in for a special treat. We're going to be doing a DIY rainbow ice cream sandwich. This is going to be so easy and fun. All you need is brown Play-Doh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All the colors of the rainbow, and a rolling pin if you have one. You'll also need something with an edge to cut. This ruler will work just fine. Let's get started! We'll start by rolling out our red Play-Doh into an oval. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then we'll do our orange and lay it right on top of the red. Then our yellow. And our pretty green one. Let's do our blue one. And last but not least, purple. How cool does that look? Let's just lay it on the side and give it a little push down. Now we'll begin rolling to create our rainbow. All these colors are so pretty. Write in the comments which color is your favorite. Once we get it nice and flat, we'll use our ruler to cut it into the shape of our ice cream. We cut it into a rectangle. How cool do those layers look? Time to make the sandwich! We use our brown Play-Doh and just roll it the same way we did the colors. And then we lay the rainbows on top and cut around it. This will create the bottom of our sandwich.
It's starting to really come together. Let's finish it off with the top. This is gonna turn out so great. Once we're finished, we lay the sandwich on top and cut the sides just like before. Then we round out the sides, give it a little push down. I just love how this ice cream sandwich is turning out. If you guys like ice cream sandwiches, give this video a thumbs up. Last but not least, we'll use a pen to finish off the details. Mmm, this looks good enough to eat! I think this turned out great. What do you guys think? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And I'm super excited to do another rainbow activity with you guys. Today, we're going to be making a bunch of licorice. All you need is a few tools and some colored Play-Doh. And I'm sure you guys know what colors we need. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You're also going to need one of these extruders. And something to cut with. <laughs>